Peace and blessings to everybody out there. Welcome back to the Fake Woke Podcast. Uh, you already know who I am. I don't need to drop my name, but we're gonna get right up, right into it. Um, unfortunately, I was a, I wasn't able to drop this video yesterday. This video was actually supposed to be about something completely different, a different topic. I probably still cover that topic. Probably, probably won't. It's up in the air right now. But for the most part, um, this video, this episode, is about Jacob Blake. A 29-year-old male that was shot in the back seven times in Kenosha, Wisconsin. Now I didn't I I ain't watched the video. I didn't want to put that in the air. I did not want to see a man be shot in his back. I tried not to watch those type of videos at all, to be honest, because like it does something to your spirit. You putting like this negative hold on your spirit and now you mad the whole day you thinking about that gentleman being shot or that person being shot because you just sat there and watched that person hit the hit the deck like a sack of potatoes bro it's just like i don't i don't want to see that during my day i really don't i really don't want to see that but for the most part um from what they said was in the video because i was reading the article i did not want to I did not want to watch that video. I didn't want to see it. I did not want to put that in my spirit. But for the most part, what they said was on the video. You can see the gentleman walking towards his car. One of the, one of the police officers, or both of the police officers, or whatever, had they had they firearm out and pointed at the gentleman. They grabbed a hold of his shirt. Now. If they they said they they said that the police officer grabbed a hold of grabbed a hold of the gentleman's shirt. Now they said they uh, from the looks of the video they weren't trying to wrestle him down. And to be honest, from my point of view, if you got, if you got a hold if you're close enough to have a hold of the gentleman's shirt, do you really need to shoot that man? That's my question. How can you how how can black conservatives, black conservatives, sorry about that for the mispronunciation, mispronunciation, but how can black conservatives sit there and call that a good shooting? You dig? Like I understand you don't know why that gentleman is going to his car. You don't know what he's reaching for. I understand that, but if you are close enough to have a hold on that man's shirt you you can't tell you you can't tell me that you can't wrestle him down to the ground for the most part so what you're doing is you're going you're going straight to shooting that man in his back so for for from what you telling me you grabbed a hold of that man's shirt you can tell me I'm wrong. You can you can message me like, yo, you wrong about that, this, that, and the third, whatever your opinion is, whatever the facts may be. But you grab the hold of that man's shirt. You're not trying to rest, wrestle him down. You're not trying to pull him away from the car. You grab the hold of that man's shirt. And from what they were describing, for the most part, it sounds like you was trying to get a more accurate shot. You don't even know if the man had a gun on him. You don't know what he was reaching for. But you're going to shoot that man in his back. You're going to grab a hold of his shirt so you can have a more accurate shot to shoot that man. Now, you got the conservatives out here talking about, oh, he he got third degree domestic violence charges and so forth and so on. He got a long rap sheet. All right. Was the police called on him? That's my question. Was he the reason for the domestic dispute? Because from what I was, from what I've read, he was breaking up a fight between two women. Now, my personal opinion, when it comes to James Blake, first and foremost, if you are in a situation with the police, first and foremost, you don't want to make no certain uh, sudden movements. You want to address them properly, yes sir, no sir, whatever the case may be, so you can get up out of that situation. That's the, that's the first. That's the first thing. Secondly, 
if you sitting on the goddamn curb, you do not, I repeat, you do not go to your car. I understand that you're, I understand that his, all three of it, all three of his sons were in the car. I think the ages are eight, five, and three. I understand that. Now, that's a different dynamic. You don't know what, uh, what the, the, what he told the police. You don't know if the, the kids needed something and he was trying to attend to the kids. We don't know. We don't know what the hell was going on. Because again, police officers don't have body cams on. The police officers don't have any body cams on. So you don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on. All you see is a it's a far away shot of of the situation. You don't know who provoked who, what was going on, any of that. You don't know nothing. Now again, I did not watch the video. I did not watch the video. I'm just going off by the standstill and I'm just going off by the by the article because I did not want to watch that video. But for the most part, my whole beef with James um, Jacob Blake is that, bro, like, why did you go? Why did you try to? Why did you open up, open up the driver's side of the vehicle? Why didn't you just stay sitting down on the, uh, on the curb or what, whatever the case may be? Why are you trying to break up a fight if that's what you were doing when your rap sheet is long? As long as that. Apparently, he already had a warrant out for his arrest. <clears throat> Excuse me. I deeply apologize about that. But apparently, he already had a, a warrant out for his arrest for domestic violence or some something of, of along the lines of that. So we don't know why the police was called, to be honest. We, we, we don't know what the real reason was if it was two girls fighting or if he had a problem with with a female or whatever we don't know we don't know but for the most part it's like bro like if you know your rap sheet is that long bro why would you even put yourself in that type of situation first and foremost secondly your kids is there so wouldn't you want to get your kids to a safer place you feel me? And third, just follow direction, bro. Just follow the uh, the officer's directions, man. And secondly, when it comes to the police, bro, you y'all act like y'all act like y'all had to shoot that man. That's my problem because you had you had the man's shirt in your hand, bro. You had the man's shirt in your hands, and you telling me. You couldn't wrestle him to the ground. You had to shoot. You had to shoot, right? This is why people are talking about the police. The police needs to be defunded. This is why they're talking about that. To be honest, I believe there needs to be police reform. I really do. But when it comes to defunding the police, I do not believe that. When it comes to better training for the police, I wholeheartedly believe in that. I feel like they're, they need to be trained better physically. They need to learn some type of martial arts. Whatever they, whatever they need to learn, they need to learn it. And they need to learn it fast. Because it's just like you can blatantly see that these people are low IQ individuals. I'm talking about the police officers. I'm talking... Some of the, some of the people that be involved in these situations might be low IQ people too. But we can't really tell because a lot of these people end up dead. Now, Jacob Blake so happened to be in the hospital in, 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 in critical condition, paralyzed from the waist down. But for the most part, I, I feel like there needs to be police reform. And along the lines of they need better training. They need to be able to identify when a person is mentally disabled or, or if a person is alleviated. They need to have better control over their actions and their emotions when they're dealing with these people because apparently they have no control over themselves. They lack, 
they 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 suffer from low IQ to the point to where they're shooting these people and they have no legit reason why they're shooting these people. So now you've got the conservatives over here talking about, oh, he was this, that, and third, he committed burglary, whatever. What does his fucking rap sheet has to do with the fact that he was shot with his back turned to the police while they're grabbing his shirt, bro? That makes no sense. It makes no sense. That means you wanted to shoot that man for whatever reason. That's what that shit means. That's what that shit means. You know what I mean? You wanted to shoot that man. You could have wrestled that man to the ground. You could have prevented him from getting to the door. But you did not. You waited for him to put his hands on the door. You waited for him to open the door. You waited for him to get inside the door, inside the car, and you shot that man. You can't tell me that shit was not you can't tell me they wasn't they they didn't want to shoot him you can't tell me and you can't you, you can't convince me because they didn't have no body cameras so that's why that's why i'm on i'm i'm not on nobody's side in this situation because i personally feel like J uh jacob blake should have sat his ass where he needed to be he should have listened to the police officers Whatever the case may be, he probably wouldn't be in this situation. That's all I'm gonna say about that. But we know we got asshole officers out there. We we already know we do. We already know we do. We already know we do. This is not to cape for them. I'm I'm actually I'm actually ridiculing these motherfuckers because it's like you shot that man, bro. Like you wanted to shoot him, and you can't tell me you did not want to shoot him. Because you had every opportunity to apprehend him To stop him from getting to that car Because you had his hand in your shirt And you was not trying to stop him You was waiting You was trying to get a more accurate shot So you can't shoot him Like bro Like this shit is bullshit bro It's bullshit but I don't think we should defund the police I think they need better training We need more people that's from the community Actually joining, the, joining law enforcement So this goes out to black people Sitting there telling their kids That actually have aspirations to be police And they're sitting there Deterring their kids Not to be police officers Let them kids follow those follow their dreams We need more people in the, into law enforcement That live within our communities That know the neighborhood that know the people in the neighborhood my personal opinion that will straighten out a lot of these situations because a lot of these police officers do not live within these neighborhoods and you can tell and you can tell bro because if they lived within the neighborhoods if they knew who these people were they would not be committing these shootings that's just what it is 